guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be doing a updated faux lock tutorial doing the quick method right here i'm doing little parts in boxes or squares whatever and i'm plaiting them or single braiding them and this part is very important i'm still learning as i go how to perfect my parts make them really nice and neat so that's what you want to do section the hair off and part them I'm parting and braiding so I'm going to take equals Cuban twist hair and 24 inches and she got the color 1B and I'm also going to take free trees hair and she got the curl pattern go go curl and the color 4 which doesn't match her Cuban twist but it's okay okay so basically what I'm doing now is I'm crocheting the free trees go go curl hair into her little braids and then I'm also going to crochet the Cuban twist hair into her braid as well. So you basically see me taking my pointer finger and my thumb and using those to guide the twist down and also using my other hand to basically bring the hair to my pointer finger and my thumb, if that makes sense. I'm on the second row now and I'm going to take half of the Cuban twist hair, the plait and the crocheted curly hair and I'm going to pull that all to one side and hold it and wrap the other part of the Cuban twist hair around.
So the whole faux lock process for me takes around maybe six to seven hours. I just need seven to be on the safe side, but usually it doesn't really take that long. And I usually t use like five or seven bags of the Cuba Twist hair and one or two bags of the Free Trees hair. And yeah, I just ignore the TV in the back. I let my client choose what we were watching. And yeah, she chose some type of TV show on Netflix. I think it was called like Sinners or Sinners Clubs. I don't know. But yeah. I wanted to do a bun on my client because I think I've only done a bun once and I was really struggling. I didn't even use like a headband or anything to help guide it. I just kind of like started wrapping hair around. So yeah, this is how I style it. I just wanted to show you guys what I do. Just the little hair in the back sticking out when I was taking the pictures so I went back and fixed that and I also fixed the edges for like the fourth time because I'm really picky when it comes to the, how the edges are and how the curly pieces are and yeah I just put mousse on her hair and some shine spray and yeah that's about it I'm finally done. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>